So here's why I'm scared. The safe bet is to just keep taking dates. People want to book me. It's safe. You know, I get paid a good amount. There's no risk. The thing about going out on your own tour with no promoter is you assume all financial risk. And, um, and, uh, I don't think I'm going to lose, but it is, uh, a little scary and I see y'all in the comments like don't be scared walk by faith I agree with you but I think a little bit of fear is helpful a little bit of fear helps you make smart business decisions helps keep your bit your overhead low helps you promote and do everything you can um, a little fear is healthy I don't want to uh, just be approaching like that. We're gonna be fine. Every every city gonna be sold out, no matter what. That's my Tracy Morgan impression. That every city gonna be sold out. So, and nobody in the Bible that said they walked by faith didn't. That didn't mean they weren't scared. I'm certain when your boy uh, Daniel was like, they finna throw you in the lions den. He ain't just walking there like lions. No problem. He probably was like, I trust you, God. Please, please close the mouth of the lion. I'm certain them Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were about to be thrown into that um, furnace, weren't just like, furnace, this finna be a breeze. I get thrown in furnaces all the time. I love furnaces. Like, I, I have faith. I had faith when I moved to LA. Was still terrified. Not terrified. But healthy scared because uh, my direct deposit was only going to come one more time. I was going to get one more good, good, clean check. That first, next Friday when I move to L.A., that's going to be my last good, clean check. And after that, then I got the little baby check for the last two days or so. But that first Friday that no check came, that's when I was just like, y'all ain't going to send me nothing. Well, just because I didn't go to work for, for three weeks, y'all ain't gonna send me nothing. Okay, okay, nah, cool, after all I've been through. So, um, I haven't been this scared since then, but that worked out for me, and I think this is gonna work out for me. I have people all over the nation. Here's the thing about when I do my stand-up in cities. A lot of times, the people who book me, and this isn't their fault, they don't have like a lot of the stuff together early, like ticket links and all that, because they're really only wanting me to come to their church or their school. But people who want to come are like, Kev, I don't know where to go to buy tickets. I never know. Like you're coming to my city. You've been to Chicago four or five times, Detroit. I can never see you because, you know, people don't be having the tickets available. The flyer don't come until a week before. So that's one thing I'm not going to do. I'm going to have all the links available early all the cities gonna be listed i love the idea of the save the date price this show will be in the city limits of whatever city we say it's not gonna be in the suburbs it's gonna be a lower price and there's only gonna be a limited amount of those available i love that idea i love the idea of going to places i've never been miami indianapolis Cincinnati, I'm going to all four corners of the United States, St. Louis, the middle, the Southeast, Southwest, small cities. I might need to throw South Carolina on there. I want to do London. Even if I don't make no money, I want to do a show in London. Minneapolis, Minneapolis ain't on there. I need to put Minneapolis on there. South Florida is on there. Like I want to do it all because if I can make this work, It'll be, it'll be worth it, I think. If I can make it work, it'll be worth it. Um, Augusta's not on the map. Louisville is. I'm going to just run over the cities real quick so y'all know. I'm going to do as much as I can. I'm going to go west coast to east coast. Los Angeles, San Diego, Bay Area, whether it's Sacramento, San Francisco, or Oakland, Seattle, Las Vegas, Phoenix, uh... Houston, Dallas, um, Oklahoma City, St. Louis, Chicago, Indianapolis, Milwaukee. I think I need to throw Minneapolis on there. Um, I'm, 
I'm not going to start with Minneapolis because I'm starting where that where I have Facebook fans, my top 25. But if it goes well, Minneapolis will be next. Uh, Birmingham, Memphis, Nashville, Atlanta, Miami, Orlando, Tampa, Raleigh, Charlotte, New York, Philadelphia, D.C., Louisville, Columbus, Cleveland, uh, that's all I can think of at the moment, Kansas City, Kansas City is on there, uh, New Orleans, Baton Rouge, Virginia Beach is on there, um, Not Lexington. I'm just going to do Louisville. Y'all going to have to travel. And that's it. That I can think of off the top of my head. North Korea, going to stay away. Baltimore is on the list. South Carolina is not on the list, but I'm thinking about putting South Carolina. Boston. Boston is on the list. Uh, never been to Boston. I actually have been to Boston, but not my own show. Uh, no Pennsylvania. If all goes well, then I'll go to cities that I haven't been to that are on my face. Off that are not on my Facebook, but the reason I'm starting with those cities is because I'm using the almost million fans I have on Facebook to fund this, to promote this tour. Facebook, Instagram, and mainly Facebook and Instagram and YouTube. Uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube are my primary marketing tools. Facebook is just the most dynamic when it comes to ad placement and marketing. So I need word of mouth and I need y'all to share and tell your friends. But yes, I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. But I'm going to do it. I've already started. I started reaching out to venues. Uh, started getting some emails back way ahead of time. Let's see, it's October. The tour don't really start until March. We got Los Angeles and San Diego. Oh, San Diego in there too. Um, we got Los Angeles and San Diego just to get it started. But then in March... March, April, and May, we're going to be out there. If it goes well, we'll probably take the summer off or a couple of days in the a couple of weeks in the summer off and then go back in the fall and hit all the cities we didn't hit. And um I'm going to I'm going I I am going to do great. I agree. I appreciate you guys for watching these videos and sharing and here's to hoping that I can monetize off all this free content cuz look, if you give it away for free, and then nobody don't want to pay for it, then you ain't no business. You just posting. You just posting. And I don't want to just be posting. I want to be doing. You heard me. And my wife, I'm really more excited for my wife, man. I'm telling you, after this, my wife, I feel like going to be, be getting booked left and right. We're going to finish the book, the relationship, uh, relationship goals book that we're working on. My wife is going to start speaking and I'm all I, if I if I could just be her armor bearer I'm going to be happy. Like let me bear your armor. She travels with two. I'm on my way. I'm going to do her merch. I'm going to take the picture. We going to make it work. You heard me. We going to make it work. Liz is not Yeah, Liz is quitting her job. She's career changing for sure. She's quitting her job. And she's going to focus on uh, video content, speaking, live events, and and uh, being an author. Those are her four points of contact. Her writing a book, speaking engagements, the live events with me, and her video content. And we're going to start the podcast back up. And the thing is... I'm not even doing this to get rich. Obviously, of course, I'd love to make a lot of money. But I'm just doing this so we can do what we want to do for a living. That's it. Because the thing is, I, I heard Dave Chappelle say this when I was younger, and I thought this was so true. He asked his dad, like, what will success be? And he said, he asked his dad, if, 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 he, if, if Dave Chappelle was a teacher, would his dad consider him successful? And his dad was like, yeah, that's a great career, right? And he said, um, well, if I make $35,000 a year doing comedy, I'll be successful because I'll be doing what I want to do. And let me tell you something. The one thing I learned at the Boeing Company, which I love that job and thankful for everybody and all that stuff. 
But I made more money than I ever had made in my life up until that point. And I hated every second of it. I would have rather made $20,000 less and done what I wanted to do than to um, make more money in a job I hated. Because that ADD, I love my job. Yesterday, I was like, looked up, it's two o'clock. Man, where did the day go? But I'm doing stuff I love. At Boeing, you feel, I felt every second of every minute, every minute of every hour. I was just counting down the minutes to the next hour. Counting down to my lunch break. Enjoy my lunch break. Then counting down the back half of the day. I mean, you just feel every tick of the clock we felt. Every tick of the clock. I'm staying at ADD until it's no longer feasible for me to do both. That's when I have to make that decision. Yes, for the, for the for the tour, I'm staying at ADD. So I want to talk about that for a second because a lot of people are like, "You gotta quit your job to chase your dream." Yes, to an extent. If you have a good job that you like and you don't mind, what what having a job at ADD allows me to do is finance this tour without having to do it on credit. I don't have to do a, a credit card or a loan. I They allow me to do what I want. They're like, hey, Kev, we love what you're doing. Go ahead and take off as many Fridays as you want as long as you're always available by phone or by text. But they're like, tour, we encourage you. Russell was like, "I right, go ahead, do you, do you. No, I don't need to quit halfway. They ain't making me take a pay cut. They're like, you can have a raise and you can work Monday through Thursday. You good. And that allows me the capital to pay for things myself, which allows me the freedom to take 100% of the profit. Risk? Yes. Calculated risk. So, I mean, if I didn't work at ADD, I probably still could do it, but I need, I couldn't book 25 dates. I would have to book three take the money from that, book three more. And that's not how you make money. You make money touring because you got a lot of dates. Some cities are gonna be more lucrative than others. You know, you go to a small city. I've actually found that small cities do better than big cities because big cities are a little snobby because people come there all the time like, oh. If you live in Atlanta, everybody always comes there. Oh, he'll come again, they'll come again. Oh, we got Beyonce, uh, Craig Mack, whatever. But when you have a concert at in Greensboro, Greensboro, North Carolina, people don't usually have to, they don't usually get to see great events in that city. They always have to go to the bigger cities. So I found that they come. <laughs> That's the last turn he be making. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, I appreciate y'all for y'all support. Um... I'm excited. I'm more excited than scared. I don't want to give you guys the wrong impression. I am I am giddy with excitement. Giddy with excitement. See, I'm so excited. I got extra gas in my body. I got a burp. So anyway, I hope y'all will buy tickets when the time comes. That would mean the most to me. And I thank you for everything you've done and for who you are. God bless you. God keep you. Bye. And we'll see you at the conference.